Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here in LA getting ready to film some of the locations the Black Dahlia Elizabeth Short has been seen. Of the Black Dahlia, as 22 year old Elizabeth Short came to be immortalized in death. Her body drained of blood and severed with surgical technique, then placed alongside a sidewalk. So six months before her death, she moved to Hollywood in hopes in making it as a star. Now, Elizabeth Short was believed to have died between January 9th to the 15th. Her remains were found January 15th, and she was believed to have gone missing January 9th. All right, so we're here at John Marshall High School, where Elizabeth Short took a picture sitting right here on this little stoop, I guess you can say. And as you can see, the picture beside me. And yeah, that wasn't the only picture she took. She actually took a picture right up here, right about here in front of these steps, in front of these doors actually. And you could see that the framing looks pretty much the same in the picture. And the only thing that's different, I believe, is the windows. As you can see on the side of me, the picture does look a little different. All right, so that was pretty cool information. You know, the doors, where Elizabeth was standing, and right over there, right there, where she sat in the picture. Yeah, so this is John Marshall High School, getting ready to move on to the next stop. So we're here on Carlos Avenue, the street where Elizabeth Short used to live. There used to be some apartment buildings right there. And yeah, that's where she used to live. In back of Florentine Gardens, you can see right there, Right there, I believe that's it. That white building, that's where she used to work as a waitress. Yep, this is it. Right about there behind Florentine Gardens. So now we're approaching the Frolic Room. This bar was actually known to be frequented by Elizabeth. It was actually the last known place that she was known to be at, as a matter of fact. Yep, the frolic room. She was seen stumbling out of this bar when she headed to her room at the Biltmore Hotel. Yeah, that was kind of hard to film because there's so many people walking by right here. So excuse me if I sounded a little weird. I'm not too sure on the facts of how the Black Dahlia got her name. Um, I've always thought and heard it was because she wore a black dahlia in her hair, but I also heard that she was nicknamed it because she wore a lot of sheer black clothing. When Elizabeth Short's remains were found, they seen that she had lacerations on her face um, on each side from corners of the mouth to her ears, pretty much creating as they called a Glasgow smile. So we're here now on a street called Norton Avenue, I believe it is. This is actually the site where the Black Dahlia's body was found. Now, back in 1947, all of this, all these houses were not here. It was just this sidewalk and it was all field. So if you could see in front of this house, right about here, right there in that patch of grass is where the body or her remains were found. Okay, so if you can see this fire hydrant right here, this fire hydrant was actually there in 1947. It's that old. And if you Google some of the pictures, the crime scene pictures, I can see actually this driveway opening is was there in 1947. And right there in that area, on the other side of the sidewalk was where her remains were found once again. So that was really sad about what happened to Elizabeth. You know, she had no known acting job. Unfortunately, her death became her fame.